Uh, hi guys, uh, you are watching me on YouTube, but that's uh, not my main work. Uh, I'm responsible for inbound sales at Woodpecker. And we send a lot of emails to people that register for Woodpecker trial, uh, trying to engage them into conversation with us. And to tell the truth, we use email at automation a lot. And in this video, I'd like to share some useful tips with you that you can use in your process. Keep watching. Let me share my screen. So take a look. Uh, that's our trial registration form. So once people fill it in, they get a 14 day free trial account and they can test Woodpecker uh, completely for free. Uh, there is also one thing that is happening. Once they register for a trial and fill in the form, they get into automatic Woodpecker campaign. And that's one of our campaigns. Uh, that's actually Vlad's campaign, one of our salespeople. Uh, cheers, Vlad. Uh, and before I show you the stats, so take a look. Once you have a campaign and it's already running, you still can add prospects to it. You can import them uh, through Excel or CSV files. You can add them manually, pick them from already existing database, but also you can put uh, prospects uh, or leads into Woodpecker's campaign through integrations. You can use Zapier, you can use um, our API keys, also you can use our WordPress plugin, actually we have a separate video about that. So keep it in mind, let's move on to stats. So as you can see, they are quite high. Uh, we have almost 74% open rate and almost 27% respond rate. And it looks really good and the engagement level is also good. If you scroll down, we'll be able to see the copy itself. And as you can see, it's not very special. So the first email of Vlad is, uh, is writing about uh, SPF Decam records, that it's important to set it up, checking email lips, limits and personalizing copy. Uh, not so special, yeah, uh, just piece of like, education. Also, we have a strategy of just asking them how they are doing, do they want to start a conversation with us. Uh, and the content is really sim uh, simple, but the engagement le level is really high. And in this case, using email automation is, is really a great way of starting initial conversations uh, with, with people. And how we do that? Okay, so we have automated our, and we have connected our form with Woodpecker. Uh, also, what we do next is after we send an email to those people, we also add them to uh, the pipeline in Pipedrive. So Pipedrive, that's our CRM. You might have uh, another CRM, for example, uh, I don't know, Hubs HubSpot, maybe Zoha CRM, maybe Salesforce. Uh, we use Pipedrive and in Pipedrive, we do have a, a pipeline, yeah? And that's just a sample pipeline. We have a stage called qualified contact mate and so on. By moving, and we have a, a client profile here, here, a lead profile. When we move uh, those, uh, uh, those deals uh, from stage to stage, we can trigger uh, automatic emails from Woodpecker and automated sequences to those people. And that's the way we follow up with them during the whole trial. Uh, how we do that? We use Zapier. And here's another tab. And take a look. So uh, that's Zapier's page, uh, Woodpecker plus Piper integrations. We scroll down a bit and we can see what triggers and actions we do have on Pipedrives and Woodpecker's uh, sites. So one of triggers uh, in Woodpecker is email sent. When you send email to a prospect, you can automatically create a deal on a specific stage in Pipedrive. When it comes, what do we, and, and that actually there are a lot of triggers uh, and you can see them right now. But also we can have, for example, a trigger uh, in Pipedrive. Uh, one of my favorites and really practical triggers uh, is deal matching filter. It's when you create a filter in Pipedrive and uh, when somebody uh, is 
matching criteria of this filter, uh, you can trigger, uh, for example, a campaign in Woodpecker. So let me scroll down. Yeah, so we can create or update prospecting campaign. So if you want to move people from stage to, to, to stage, and that's how we want to trigger um, emails, email sequences in uh, Woodpecker, you can do this through Zapier, you can use deal matching filter, trigger, and then you can use uh, create a, update prospect in campaign. And that's basically how we follow up, follow up our people uh, and you can use it uh, as well. Guys, uh, I hope this information is useful. If you have more, uh, maybe you need more information about how this works and how you can set up your process, let me know in comments. Let's uh, stay in touch. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Bye.